to Welcome back to the Champs Veteran Community Chat Show. Um, last segment, we was uh, Miss Armstrong was telling about uh, you know her 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 program and and uh, everything. And so, what we would like her to do, she has an amazing event coming up. So we want her to talk a little bit about her banquet coming up, and also how you guys can reach her anybody that's out there that want more information or know somebody that needs help she's going to give you that information how to get in contact with them so. yes so we're having a um a banquet a fun a gala is what i call it it's called uh, butterfly dreams 10 years of transformation it's this saturday october 5th from 6 to 9 at gateway community church on clear lake boulevard we are having uh Oh gosh, Dr. Greg Bonin, he's a state representative, he's talking, we're doing a Q&A about how Texas is handling human trafficking stuff. I have a lady from the, the hospital that is be talking about how the hospital handles trafficking victim. And then I also have a survivor of trafficking that her father, her dad actually groomed her and trafficked her as he started when she was eight wow. years old. So it's gonna be a pretty, interesting mm -hmm. thing and yeah. then we have a jazz player when you walk in we're having dinner you're going to be listening to him we have um, a silent auction and then i'm doing a little ministry celebration for some of my volunteers awesome. i got a few things in for surprise great. for them great so by all means it's on eventbrite if you want to check us out or give me a call at 281 eight one seven zero three zero seven you can find this on facebook's providence outreach ministries our website is p r o v o m dot org so there's a lot of information out there and yes we need help i need volunteers we need donations so please contact us you heard those needs guys so come out and support her uh, reach out to her if uh with additional information miss armstrong I am so amazed at the work you do, and I know that God is leading you, Absolutely. and I know you're going to continue mm -hmm. to touch those that are have been affected by human trafficking. So thank you for coming down to yeah, the show thank today. Thank you for having for me. Sure. It's been for good. Sure. Awesome, yes. awesome. Thank you so much. And our next guest is uh, Ruben. Ruben is a uh, filmmaker, Prairie View alumni, active at St. John's. I see Ruben uh, moving around the sanctuary and the campus with that camera just <laughs> clicking and taking pictures and everything. And so we're glad to have Ruben here. And so um, we're going to get him all set up and everything. And he's going to tell us a little about himself, his family, and his projects, any other projects he may have coming up and, and all of that. So. Uh, we're going to get him all strapped in. and <laughs> Let's go, Ruben. <laughs> Thank you for being here. No problem. Thank you all for having me. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about you, Ruben, your background. Uh, I'm originally from Houston. Uh, uh, area called Horn Clark, south side of the city. Uh, went to Madison High School. Then I New went Orleans. To, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, played sports or whatever. Then I went on to college. It actually, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it actually ties in uh, how I came about doing photography, okay, and videography, okay. Like uh, my high school prom. Well, I don't, I don't. Do you want me to get into all? Yeah, yeah, we <laughs> want. We, we we don't know. We want to know the backdrop. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Well, you know, went to Madison and continued on the Prairie View on scholarship, academic scholarship, but while like. My senior year at Madison, I bought a little point and shoot camera, nothing fancy, oh, okay. pocket camera, Samsung, and uh, I took it to prom. Okay. And you know, I took uh, took a lot of pictures of me, my friends, everybody. You know, and that's when I kind of noticed. I'm like, okay, I like this. You got an eye for this, huh? Yeah, <laughs> and you know, reviewing the pictures, um, I just thought. I mean, it wasn't you know. Steven yeah. Spielberg, but <laughs> <laughs> I know they were like, okay, this I like the art of it. I like doing it. Right. So I took that camera on to Prairie View with me. And eventually I got an even better camera. And I was always the one with the camera. My friends know what a picture is Ruben. <laughs> you know, so I'm you know, it just grew. It's just like, okay, I get, I didn't do it because, you know, 
they felt that I should or I did it because that's something that was in me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. something in me. I was like, man, I, I really like this. So I got an even better camera. You know, as my studies went on, I was studying human sciences, actually. Well, animal science in undergrad and okay. human sciences in grad school. Uh, but, you know, as studies went on, I never let go of the past. And I saw I got my first, you know, somewhat professional camera. Okay. It wasn't, still wasn't too fancy, but, you know, it was something useful, more useful. It, it, gave, it, it, gave, me that, it gave me that background blur that right. I was looking for. <laughs> Right. I uh, see other photographers, you know, at Prairie View, you know, you're going to have all type of artists that do all type of things. So I okay. used to see, I got cool with some of them too. Dude named R. Smith, he went to Prairie View. He showed me a few things with the camera. So shout out to him. And um, I used to see his picture. I'm like, man, mine don't look quite like his. Yeah. So I figured out why. And I, that's when I got my first DSLR. Right. And. I, I just did it because I really enjoyed it. I was doing it as a hobby. We, I'd be at hump day, me and my friends. And I guess the I got asked for the first time, how much you charge? Right. <laughs> and that's right. So when, when they asked you that, what did you tell them, Ruben? I was like, well, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, what should I? I don't know. I, right. So I was like, man, I'll do it for uh, uh. You know, yeah. some some just so, make it worth my while. I, yeah. I know I ain't, you know, I wasn't there yet, but yeah, I I, I started, you know, taking pictures for people, like dedicated now instead of just okay. for for nothing, just you know. So and then I started, you know, I knew I had to, you know, edit them a little bit at least. So I got mm -hmm. a little free. It was called Picasso Web Albums by Google. It was free, you know, simple little edits. Highlights, contrast, shadows, and I, you know, I made it look good, and it, it wow. didn't stop. People kept asking, <laughs> so. <laughs> and that let you know you were doing good. When yes. People continued to ask about it. Right. Yes. Don't ask you to do that. Okay. And then I dove deeper. Like I was start. I get on YouTube, look at, you know, reviews. Then I start learning about all the. You know the different settings. I used to just shoot in auto mode. Mm -hmm. Then I switched to manual. That's that's how I knew. Okay, now I really have control. Okay. And I started getting different lenses and flashes, equipment, little piece by piece. Before you know it, I had a whole mobile studio. Like <laughs> wow, I can make it look like you was in a studio, but on wherever you at. So how how long have you? Let's say prof on a professional level. I, I hear. You know, when you were sharing your story, I hear it kind of started off just something to do, then it led to a passion. Yes. Now, from the passion to professionalism, where you're getting paid. Yes. So, so when did that kick in? At what point of your journey did you, quote unquote, begin become professional? I say, I say by my junior year in college wow when i started like you know people started hitting me up for their graduate shoots right mm -hmm. right you right know, and then i would make the invite you know with the words that pictures yeah. right i would do all that myself so i was like it's i'm doing it right people right. you know they'll pay a decent price too Right. So do you have any upcoming events or anything that you'd like to share with us? Well, anything going on with you? Well, yes, absolutely. I uh, have a music video. We were supposed to shoot it to yesterday, but I told no, actually, we were supposed to shoot it today, but I told him, right, now I got an interview. Let's, mm -hmm. let's mm -hmm. push it to tomorrow. Okay. Because, you know, I want to be able to, you know, do whatever we need. But, I, yes, I, have a, I shoot everything. I, I'm a jack of all trades. I shoot everything, photos, whatever event, party, wedding okay. music video corporate event it don't matter but um I, yes i have a music video tomorrow and then what's it's october right uh -huh. later this month i have a wedding awesome okay and awesome. next month i have a wedding so so how, how did you how did you land down here because i've been seeing you around for a minute mm. you know special <laughs> events and things like that you know uh, front door, back door, sanctuary, upstairs, downstairs, <laughs> you know. And uh, oh, yeah. so, yeah. So how did that happen? Well, 
Um, <laughs> I like that whale. Yeah. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> yeah. It has to do with somebody in y'all camp. Uh, right. I was um, I was doing a, a hair shop's grand opening. A young lady, young, young lady by the name of Autumn. And uh, while doing so, uh, a lady approached me and asked, you know, hey, would you... Uh, can I get your information? Yeah. And, you know, and she like, yeah, I have, a, I have a, I work for a radio station, and then we're in the church, and we, I, we could really use a nice cam, a good cameraman. Okay. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, and then pretty soon, I landed here. It was Amanda. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Small oh, world. Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, yeah. listen, um, uh, that's great. Hold on to that. Okay. We're gonna take a break. And okay. then we're going to come back. I want you to finish that story because I think uh, the <laughs> listeners need to hear how that all transpired. Thank Amen. you so much. Amen. No problem.